Hello, it's Melinda from Alex and Melinda's Art Space. Coming on today with a video, um, working in my altered sewing book, or this is actually a needlecraft book, but the little ink or Courtney Diaz started this altered sewing book um, series, and she hasn't put any videos up for a while, but I'll link her the original one below so you can see it. It's basically working in an altered book and including the stuff that's in the book in your designs and that sort of stuff. So this is a needlecraft book and the background is like a piece of knitting. What's it say? Crochet. So this is a crochet section. So you've got a big photo of crochet and then I've put some watercolour behind where the face is. So I stamped one of Jane Davenport's faces that I got in the mail. So excited to get them. I'm getting better at drawing faces but sometimes I just like a quick face and Alexis likes the look of this face stamp so we grab them. Um, so I decided I want to make a face. This page has a lot of ugly stages, and you're about to see one of them. Uh, really, who decided to put curls in the hair? So I decided to add more black. So using a black intense pencil, as I said, this page goes through a lot of ugly stages before it becomes better. But I decided, the reason I decided to put this video on YouTube is to show you that I'm not perfect. Everyone's not perfect with the art journal pages. If you persist you can turn something ugly 99% of the time into something beautiful so just heating that um, I activated the ink Ted's pencils with water and then just drying that I like to dry it from the back as well it stops a page from warping so this is a book is made in the 1960s or 70s so it's it's a nice robust paper it's not shiny on the top um, like a lot of magazines and stuff today it's more of a matte paper so that's just my excess paint journal that I'm watering down some gesso with, some Liquitex gesso, because I had the idea of let's tone this back a bit. I didn't like the curls. I don't know what I was thinking with the curls. Maybe smaller curls, maybe more flourishy hair, I don't know. I got this stamp in the mail and I thought let's play. And I started, this is probably late at night and yeah. So as I said, this goes through a few ugly pages. So then the watered down gesso was too watery. The intense pencil was quite black and decided to show through. So I add some more Liquitex gesso to it. I like the Liquitex gesso because it's less plastic, plasticy. Can't talk today. Less, plas pl less plastic looking than a few of the other ones I've got. So I use this one when I definitely want to put stuff on top of it. Um, and I use the other one in other... The other one's Montmark and it turns out a bit more plasticky, but I still use it in if I want to cover huge areas or bigger areas. So I've knocked that back. Still don't know where I'm going. So then I decided it's too white, so then I decided to take some of the wipe off the white off with a baby wipe. As I said, this goes through a lot of ugly pages. So I've basically covered up what I just did. Some days I have great days with chart journal pages and everything looks perfectly and I'm really happy with the result and it's beautiful. Other days are days like this where anything I throw at the page looks like yuck. So I decided I need some more colour. Let's throw some more colour at it. So I grabbed my watercolour palette. This is a Mikador watercolour palette that I managed to pick up cheap at Spotlight probably 12 months ago now. Actually it was 12 months ago. Got it last August when I was in Melbourne. Um, <laughs> so deciding to add, these are a bit chalky, these paints, when they dry, you can actually sort of rub a bit of chalk off, but decided to bring a bit more orangey yellow back into it. Still don't know where I'm going with Paige. Still don't know what I'm going to do with her hair. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm sorry the book's on an angle. I didn't realise that um, until I finished editing or finished filming, and my book is actually on an angle. Excuse me for a few sniffles today. I think I'm picking up a cold, and it's so cold here today. So I'm going through my um, scrap paper box, and I found this bird. So this was a gel print, and then I stenciled on top of it, I believe. So I decided that my face needed a friend, and the bird was its friend. Why the bird? No idea. Because it was in my scrap box, and I decided to use it. So then I pull out a few more bits and pieces. I've just got my scrap box off camera. Because um, you really don't need them to see my scrappy scrap box. I'm trying to also use up things this year. So I've started a dedicated scrap box. So any scraps of paper go into that box. And that's the first box I look through for art journal pages like this. Where I don't know what I'm doing but I just want something. So half pieces of paper go in there. Half napkins. Half. There was a bit of a map which came out of one of my diaries. Old diaries. I just, just could, 
discontinued, no that's not the word I wanted, deconstructed, that's the word I wanted. So using some Liquitex and matte medium to apply just some random bits of paper. I still don't know where I'm going, probably regret putting that bit of paper close to her face because it is got dark in her face and then it's got dark in the paper but it stays there because everything else has sort of got lighter tones. I'm happy with how this journal page turned out, it just went through a lot of ugly stages to start with. As I said, I've started um, like a small box of scraps and then Alexis can go into that box and use anything from it. It's not precious stuff, it's just bits to use up ends of bits of projects. So just adding a few more bits of paper down, just here and there, trying to stay in with the tones of the page, which were like light oranges, peaches, yellowy colours. Then this napkin as I say, staying in tones with the colours, then I'll go and put this blue napkin on. This is one of my favourite latest napkins, Acquires. I have used it in another journal page. I'm just wondering if that's up yet. Yes, that is up, because that was last month's Mission Inspiration, July. So I love the, the stark navy um, images, and I love the birds on this. And birds went with birds, so that's why this napkin went on there. And I love this napkin because the white almost fades when you stick it on. So you, it almost looks like you've stamped these images on. And it gives it a really nice texture. So just tearing that into pieces and popping it here, there and everywhere. Just around her face. Leaving her face open. I'm sorry if you just heard someone yelling. I do have workmen in the backyard today. And they are obviously yelling at each other. So just adding a few more bits of paper down, sort of pointing to that section and going, ooh, it sort of needs something. So I like Liquitex Matte Medium to apply paper like this because it's a really nice, gives it a really nice finish, a really nice matte finish. Nearly used my bottle, so I'm, every time I pour some out, I usually pour too much out and then just coat the rest of it on the page. So I think next time I will decant it and, oh, there's a nice fancy word, decant it and put it into a little jar or something and then I can just dip my paintbrush in. I think it'll last a lot longer because I have gone through that little bottle quite quickly. Then again, I have been doing lots of work the last couple of months. So so just drying that off with the napkin and I'm loving how that looks at the moment. Almost as looks as if she's hiding in the forest. I don't know, hiding away. Hide her hair because I couldn't do her hair. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So if you want to... Um, make sure the napkins are really really dry. I actually left it a little bit um, in between putting the napkins down and actually drawing on top because if you do want to draw on top your page has to be totally dry otherwise you um, will make your pens not work anymore because they'll get stuck with glue. So I decided to bring that bird out because it was getting a bit lost with the parrot and I ideally wish the parrot was looking at her but it's not. It'll look at something on the other page when I eventually complete the other page. So just doing some zentangling over the bird with a black sharpie marker. And then I do zentangle a bit around the page as well, just outlining some things. I'm going to try to get more confident and do a lot more drawing in this book. At the moment I'm doing a lot of cutting and pasting and stamping, but that's okay. I will, I've done a few drawings in it. I will do a flip through eventually because this book, Courtney sort of designed it as you work on several pages at once. Now what am I putting on? White. Out of a cap. I don't know what am I putting on there. Am I putting on gesso? I think I'm putting on a thin coat of gesso. I think I am just to knock it back a bit. So I filmed this a couple of weeks ago and I'm you didn't see the bottle before I start, but I just didn't. I've got the cap for some reason. I think it is white gesso, just to knock it back a bit. As I was saying, um, I don't film a lot of processes in this particular art journal because um, Courtney Diaz says, work on four or five pages at once because an art journal page is never finished. So sometimes when I'm feeling like playing but don't feel like actually thinking about a page and making a page from start go to end, I grab this book and grab my box of scraps and just stick stuff in and then eventually when there's enough stuck in on a page I then find a focal point and do it. So I haven't done a flip through with this journal for a while and I have done several pages in it that are completed that I didn't fill. So 
so I will endeavour to do a flip through for you as well. As you can see there's blue paint on the next page. If I have excess paint, um, before I got my little excess paint wipe off journal, I was using this one as well. So I just decided to go outline some of the birds to bring them into the foreground again. We tend to do that with our art journal pages. We think something's too dark and then we like put a coat of gesso on it and knock it back and then we want to bring out the images as well. So bringing out the birds and the leaves um, with that. Then I decided the page needed a border. It was sort of just floating. I like my pages to have some sort of border, whether it's inked or painted or doodled on like this. And then it sort of frames the page as well. Just doing some more doodling over the, the blue flowers. I'd love this napkin to be in other colours, actually. It'd be really nice, like a black, or it'd look really nice in black. Or a pink. I'm sorry, I'm yawning again. It's freezing cold in Bendigo today, in our hometown. Um, and I've got a, um, a window open at the moment. So I'm sitting here freezing. But that's okay. What I do for YouTube, and I've got workmen out, so I dig in. So I've got to have a window open for them. So just adding in a bit more detail where I think it here, there and everywhere. Then I decided it just needed something, I had a couple of areas that I just wanted something else. So that paper stack is from Audi, it was last year's or the year before Audi collection. They didn't do one for probably about 18 months so it is 2015's collection. So I decided to cut some birds out. So they had birds in sort of circles, so I left some of the birds in the circles and I fussy cut some of them out so you can see me just zooming around them at the moment. And I just stick some more birds on because the page didn't have enough birds. It's got a main bird, it's got birds on the napkins, and now it's got birds on the paper. So I started with the face and now we have birds all over the page, but that's okay. So just fiddling around with where I want to put the birds and then I'll glue them on just with a normal glue stick. So as I said, I'm really happy with how this page turned out. It did go through several ugly stages, as some of my pages do. And I was a little reluctant to share this one because it did go through so many ugly stages. But then again, I decided to show you that if your pages do get to the ugly stage and you don't like them, just persist, throw some more product at it, and it's amazing how it will turn out. Or if you don't want to throw some more product at it, leave it, close your book, come back to it again another day and just outlining those birds so they do pop a bit more out from the page. Because it is fun to art journal and you don't want to be stressing that you don't like your page. So then I decided I wanted to pull some more oranges and yellows back into the page. So I picked up my Mikador watercolour paints again and just plopped some more orange just to brighten up the background a little around that napkin that sort of dulled it a bit and I dulled it with the gesso as well. So this one has had a lot of pa uh, products thrown at the page and I really, really like it. So thank you for watching. Um, big welcome to all my new subscribers. We've had a bunch of people join us, join Alexis and I lately. Um, we've got loads of videos coming out and different art journaling. We're getting more into scrapbooking as well. Alexis has been doing some cooking videos and different things. So we've got loads of things planned for the next few months for you. We love, you, love reading your comments, so if you want to leave us any comments or video suggestions or things that either my daughter or my nine-year-old can do, just decide to put a bit of more orange around the edge of the border just to define the page a bit more. Let us know. We're always up for a scrappy challenge or an arty challenge. Alexis quite likes doing those ones, so if you come up with anything or hear of any one challenges that are going on, let us know. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.